So if you've flown with a modern RNAV system, especially something with a primary flight display, like a G1000, oftentimes you're gonna notice that as you're flying an initial or intermediate approach segment along a localizer, that system will leave you in RNAV mode, but it's gonna display this kind of white, we call it a ghosting needle that shows your position along the localizer. And it brings up the question, is this a legal way to fly that intermediate or initial approach segment that follows a localizer course? And if we take a look at RNAV substitution for conventional nav aids, that's explained in the AIM under section 1-2-3. It does not allow us to use a suitable RNAV system to substitute for a localizer course. It says that we need to navigate that course by reference to raw localizer data. And so it doesn't define what raw localizer data is, but I think you can get the picture pretty easily. Essentially, it's saying that you need to be able to see your position along that localizer course directly. That means with maybe a needle and a deviation scale. And that's what that white ghosting scale, I call it, is giving you. It is giving you raw localizer data and it allows you to determine your position on the localizer course. Now we're not allowed to use RNAV to substitute for the final approach nav aid on the final approach segment along the final approach course with a couple of exceptions for VORs and NDBs. So in general, what I say is this, if you've got that raw localizer data up, in most cases using that white ghosting information, it's fine to allow RNAV to continue to drive your CDI along the initial and intermediate approach segments. And that means your autopilot, if you're equipped with one, is also using RNAV information along those segments as well. But the requirement is that you need to be able to directly see your position on that localizer course, which is what that white ghosting needle accomplishes. However, before you start that final approach segment, you need to switch over to conventional guidance. So to me, that means your HSI needle needs to switch from RNAV to conventional localizer-based guidance. And on most RNAV systems, they'll do that automatically for you. The benefit here is when the system's working properly, it's gonna make that transition from RNAV guidance to conventional guidance while maintaining the appropriate autopilot or flight director modes, both lateral and vertical. So it minimizes the amount of button pushing that you're gonna to need to do as you make that transition onto your final approach segment.